Barusa TV and today we're joined by one of the stars of our women's program and the Vice Captain Lauren Daniel. Lauren, thanks for joining us. No worries, Darrell. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's great to have you here. Obviously it's an exciting week for the uh, for the women's program at the footy club with a uh, grand final appearance, our third in four years and uh, you know getting through a uh, Undefeated season so far has been a, been a, a very uh, positive uh, step towards hopefully you know, getting our first grand final victory. So, what's your th first your thoughts on the season that uh, that we've had? Obviously, it's been uh, interrupted with the COVID and yeah. everything else. But to just give us your thoughts on the season so far. Um, yeah, well, it's been like it's been a great season. Um, it's obviously been really long. Uh, COVID um, was you know we had a bit of a break there, but the girls took. Um, Took it all on board and um, did all their training still. We did a heap of running. Um, we kept in contact, Zoom meetings, you know, fitness training sessions on Zoom. And, you know, 25, 30 girls logged on doing push-ups and things like that, you know. So we're all super committed. Um, Chrissy and all the coaching staff and all support staff has been great. You know, it's just kind of lifted the program this year. Um, and the talent we've got on show and in our team, you know, like trainings and our games is just phenomenal. Really good. Just talking on the talent uh, today, the the advertiser picked their team of the year, and we uh, were not fortunate, I guess, because of the uh, outstanding talent we do have. We had seven players uh, selected in that: in Christy Castle, uh, Hannah Ewings, both in the forward line, Caitlin Pope and Hatchard, and Ashley Woodland, who was named vice captain through the midfield, and then our two key backs in Amber Ward and Christy Harvey uh, were selected uh, as centre half back and full back. And obviously, uh, with the season we've had, Christy Steen was named the, the coach of the year. So. Um, yeah, great recognition for the season we've had. I think Lauren's pretty stiff. She was a team of the year member last year and it was probably better this year, but I think it's the, qu the quality of the team around her that might have just got her left out. What do you think? Yeah, oh, uh, our, t <laughs> <laughs> our, our team's amazing. You know, I think um, it's, not, it's not a cliche, I'm not just saying it, but um, most of our squad could have made that team, I think, and the girls that got selected were rightfully se selected. Um, Christy Harvey and Amber Ward down back have been outstanding. Um, and there are other girls there, you know, Lauren Gauchi, uh, Aaron, who, who could have easily been picked as well, and um, Popey and, uh, you know, Castle, Ewings, um, and obviously Ash, just what, what an outstanding season. I've missed someone, haven't I ever missed someone? Uh, no. That, that's it? That should be it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just unreal. Um, and all over the park as well, you know, we don't, on oh, Hatchie as well, sorry. Um, Miss Dan Hatchard, so yeah, just um, overall really, really good talent and we're really proud of the girls that made the team. Yeah, and a special mention to, to Hannah Ewings as a 16 year old, she's the yeah. baby of the team, but I think it's, uh, I think that's what we'll see coming through the uh, the programs in years to come. Is is the young talent coming through? Um, you know, she's a special talent in the way she can kick kick the ball and get through traffic. And yeah, I think you girls have done a great job in, in looking after her. Yeah, um, we we remember Hannah from last year. She was too young and she came out in pre season and blitzed us all in a time trial. And we were just like, wow, she's going to be really good. And then she came out this year and. Oh, she's just so smooth, um, such a smooth player and um, beautiful with ball in hand, uh, electric skills, speed. Um, she's going to be, yeah, one to watch and definitely playing AFLW in a couple of years. And we'll talk about the uh, the second semi-final a couple of weeks ago at Thurber and Oval. It was, a, it was a great contest against South Adelaide who, in their own right, are, are probably the competition pace setters over the last three years. They've got seven AFL-listed girls in their, in, their t in their squad at the moment and some outstanding young talent. And uh, the game a couple of weeks ago was, it was very exciting. Exciting. Probably not for you, for you girls out there, but uh, we were lucky. You know, not lucky. We we got the eight point win, but it was a 50-50 game. Yeah, yeah, it was a real hard fought contest. I thought um, overall we deserved to win, um, but there were definitely periods in the game where they were probably on top. And what I was really proud about was the way we soaked up that pressure. Um, and then in the fourth quarter, you know, when it's real tense and the game could have gone either way, um, I just, the fight was unbelievable, um, which puts us in real good stead for this Sunday as well, just the girls showing that kind of fight, so. Yeah, and grand final week this week, uh, just talk us through what, uh, what you've had today, obviously training tonight and, and what you've got coming up. Yeah, so we've just been, yeah, training as normal. Um, we had pretty pretty heavy load um, over the weekend, obviously, because, on Friday night because we uh, didn't play. Um, but just training as normal um, and yeah, just going, going through the motions really, just getting ready for it, just making sure we know what we're going to do, making sure we all know our roles and yeah, getting keen. 
And due to the COVID crisis, uh, the the uh, Women's uh, Best Player Award, um, the Women's uh, version of the McGarry Medal, uh, is going to be live streamed this Friday night, uh, I believe from 7:45. But it'll be it'll be uh, accessible for anybody out there that wants to have a look. And yeah. so the team will all get together after training Friday in the function room and, and watch that. And hopefully we can have a few awards come our way again. But uh, anyone you think will give it a show. Oh, we've, yeah, like I said, we've got some pretty talented individuals. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the awards and i um, pretty, pretty sure um, a few of our girls will poll pretty high. I'm not sure if they are doing a count or whatever, but Ash is probably, you know, our favourite and um, has had an outstanding season. You know, we all knew the talent she's had over the last few years, but um, she's just, yeah, so elite, can go in the middle and impact and can go forward and hugely impact and top goal scorer as well. So um, maybe... Patchy or Ewing's might be a, a sneaky as well, so um, yeah, we've just got yeah talent all over. So yeah, it'd be nice for one of the girls to, to bring the medal home. That'd yeah. be that'd be a great to start to the weekend. So on to the game on, on Sunday. It's at Thebbin Oval at eleven thirty. Um, yeah, we've been there two weeks ago. South Adelaide had a, a very good win on on uh, on the weekend against West Adelaide in the prelim. Um, your thoughts on how we can get it done um, on the big day? Yeah, I think if we play our best footy, um, you know, we should we should win. Um, we will win if we play our best footy. Uh, we all believe in that. Uh, they've got some real. They've got a good team and a good structure. They play different to us, and we understand that. Uh, we understand how we need to play in order to shut that down. Um, and they've also got some really outstanding individuals. So we need to limit them um, and play our best footy. And I think we'll we'll definitely get over the line. So. Beautiful, Lauren. Thanks for joining us. No as, as mentioned, uh, 11.30 this Sunday down at Thebbin Oval. We'd love to see as many red and white people down there supporting the girls. They've had a fantastic season and they'll put on a great display this weekend and we're hopeful that they'll bring the cup back here uh, straight after the game. So thanks, Lauren, and thanks, all the best. Thanks, Thank you.